welcome to the place of prayer. Great is the faithfulness of God. Five minutes past six on this beautiful mo- Friday morning, the sixth of the ninth. Mm. Great is the faithfulness of God as we come in. Let's experience the faithfulness and the goodness of God. of the Lord will never cease. They are new every morning and new every day. Great is the faithfulness of our God. come to you again in the name of Jesus. Father, there is no one that can be compared with you, no one. We worship you this morning. We praise you this morning. We lift up the name that is above every other name. The Bible says in your name, Father, every knee is going to bow. Every tongue is going to confess that you are Lord. Father, every atheist knee, every Muslim knee, every Hindu knee, every South African knee, every Ghanaian knee, every American knee, every Canadian knee, every knee is going to bow before you, declaring that you are Lord. We are doing that right now. Father, we cannot wait because that is who you are. That is what the Holy Spirit tells us. And we are in agreement. That is what it is. Father, your name is high and lifted up this morning. For your name is great and greatly, greatly to be praised this morning. Father, we lift you up. We praise you this morning. You have your way in this meeting today, my God. I sing praises to your your name is great for your name is holy for your name is righteous and is worthy of all praise my god we come together as a people this morning we come together as nations to lift up your name
27 says, For the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? And let's see it all together. I sing praises. I sing praises to your name. Oh, Lord, praises to your name. Lord is the refuge and fortress of my life. Whom shall I fear? When the wicked come against me to eat up my flesh and my adversaries and my enemies, they stumble and they fell. Though an army encamped against me, my heart will not fear. Though a war arise against me, even in this will I be confident that one thing I've asked of the Lord that I will seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. Come on, all the days of my life. Come on all the days of my life, all the days of my life. To gaze upon the beauty, loving the beauty of the Lord and to meditate in his temple. This is Psalms 24. For in the day of trouble, he will hide me in his shelter, in the secret place of his tent. He will hide me, the tabernacle. He will lift me up on a rock. Come on, who is here this morning that says, I want to be in the secret place? Come on, is there anyone that says, I want to be in the secret place? Good morning to our Namibia family. This is a good, it's a good time to pray together. Two nations coming together and calling on the name of the Lord. The Lord is strong. The Lord is mighty. The Lord is powerful. Who can be compared with the Lord this morning? All we want is you, Lord. The Lord is our shepherd. The Lord is our help. Oh, Jesus, lead us and show us the way to follow you. Ooh. All our eyes on you. The Lord gives us promises. The Lord gives us prophetic word. The Lord gives us direction. The Lord gives us direction into what we need to do. And sometimes it's difficult to see what God does until you come into it or you've, you've entered into a while. You've come into it for a little bit and you walk the journey and then you see, ah, I, f I, I don't see everything, but I understand a little bit. So I think this morning what we can say, God, I haven't seen everything yet. I don't understand the prophecy completely yet. I don't know about everything yet but there's one thing that I know is that you will never fail your word your word will never fail come on church that's one thing that you and I know this morning The Bible says in Psalms, in Isaiah chapter 60, sorry, Isaiah chapter 60, and this is the chapter that says, Arise and shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. If we go and we have dealt with that, arise and shine, the first section of the, of the chapter, he says... 
in chapter in verse 14 he says the sons of those who oppressed you will come bowing down to you in submission and all those who despised you and treated you disrespectfully will bow down at the soles of your feet and they will call you the city of the Lord the Zion of the Holy One of Israel come on cities mm. Come on, I want to say to you this morning, those who have been oppressing you, those where you come from, places where you've come from in your life that has been an oppression to you, things that has been oppressing you, things that kept you back, things that kept you hostage, people that laughed at you, people that made fun of you. I want to tell you the tables have turned. I want to tell someone this morning the tables have turned the tables have turned and God has done God has done things in the season of your life you don't even know how it happened you don't know all that you're gonna see is evidence of the Lord Lord the Lord changing things you're gonna see evidence that those who laughed at you those who despised you says the Lord they're gonna come bowing down to you meaning they're gonna come and serve you they're gonna ask you how are you doing what can we do for you no my child has done this oh I've got your that connection come on the Lord says are they gonna come bowing to you who can agree with me this morning hey I'm Messiah mm. They're going to bow to you in submission. That's what the Lord says. The very same people that, made, that used to speak about you. The very same people that used to make fun of you. The Bible says they're going to come down and bow before you in submission. Hey, hallelujah. They, that submission is under the Holy Ghost. That is what the Holy Ghost has done in your life. Come on, it gets better. It gets better. It gets better. It gets better. Come on, church of the living. It doesn't get worse. Than the, it cannot get worse. It's getting better. You just need to say, Holy Ghost. Open my eyes to see the better. The Lord is our shepherd. The Lord is our helper. Oh, Jesus, lead us and show us the way. I want to tell you this morning, we're coming to draw from the presence of the Lord. In this moment, we're coming to draw the presence of Holy Spirit. Let's come to draw the Ruach. Let's come to draw the breath. Let's come to draw from the breath. Let's come to draw from the voice of God. Let's come to draw strength this morning. We are here this morning to say, God, we come to take from you. We come to receive from you. We come to draw the woman with the with issue of blood. She made up in her mind, I'm pushing through all the disciples. I'm pushing through every man, every woman that has been following Jesus. I'm Even if I fall, but I'm going to fall touching him. I'm going to fall touching his, the hem of his garment. I can touch his heel. I can touch a part of his sandal. I can touch a part of his hair. But this morning, I'm coming to receive. This morning, I'm coming to receive God. The 
This morning I'm coming to receive. I'm coming to press and I'm coming to push through everything. Come on, are you here this morning to say I'm coming to draw from the living God. I'm coming to draw from the Son of God. I'm coming to draw from the holiness of God. I'm coming to draw from the righteousness of God. I'm coming to draw from what the prophecy says. I've got a prophecy over my life. I've got a word of God. And this is the thing with the prophecy. Can I tell you something about what is a prophecy? People can tell you something and their words can just say, can just linger. It can just be there. It can just be, you know, you can say something and people can walk away and they can forget what they say to you. But you know what? When the Lord gives you a prophecy, the Bible says, I stand wakker achter sy woord om het waar te maak. Mm-mm-mm. Come, let's draw from that prophecy. Let's draw from that prophecy. Say, God, I'm coming to live. I'm coming to draw from what you say. I want to tell someone this morning, God is alive and he's keeping the word alive. And he says, I'm here ready to, re- to make it, to make sure that the word comes to pass. Come on, who has a prophetic word over your life? Come and remind the Lord this morning. I am, I am reminded by your Holy Ghost that there is a word that hasn't come to pass yet. The more they hurt you, the more they backstabbed you, the more they disappointed you, the more God is busy raising you, the more God is busy strengthening you, the more God is giving you wisdom, the more God is lifting you up, the more God is fine-tuning you for what He has ready for you. All of this is for the prophecy. All of this is for what He has spoken over your life. Come and draw from Him. Come and draw so that the prophecy can come alive. The prophecy is not dead. The prophecy is alive over your life. You and I coming in alignment says, God, I'm coming in alignment with what you release over my life. Come and draw. Come and draw, come and draw, come and draw. Hey, Ramasaya, come and draw this morning from the breath of God. Come and draw from the word of God. Come and draw from what the Lord said. He gave us a word a few minutes, a few days ago last week to be exact. He says that stretch out your ten pins. Come on, he said stretch out. Come on, there is a prophetic word that the Lord drew, placed over you and draw from that word this morning. This morning he says, all those who despise and, re- and treated you disrespect they will bow down at the soles of your feet come on it's word that the Lord gives you come on it's alive the word of God is alive the word of God is alive hey ya Messiah draw from you again draw from you again we've come to the road yesterday is gone today we need you right now draw from you again Come on, there is a well. The woman said to Jesus, the, 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 the well is deep. She said, the pit is deep. And yet he escaped. And what she was missing was, she was speaking to the owner of the well. Jacob wasn't the owner. God was the owner of the well. And, she's, and he said to me, and he said to her, that if you drink from this water, you will come back and back and back. But if you draw from me, if you draw from the living word, if you draw from my presence, if you draw from my holiness, if you draw from my righteousness, if you draw from my from my greatness, if you draw from my presence, if you draw from my word, here ya masata, you will never ever have to come back and keep on drawing from this well. But if you draw from me, I will give you streams of living waters because I am the I am the source of the living waters. I am the source of the word. Come on, Jesus says, I am the source this morning. Come and dwell, come and draw, come and drink, come and take from me this morning. All those who despise and treated you disrespectfully will bow down at the soles of your feet, says the Lord. And they will call you the city of the Lord. The Lord is calling you a city this morning. You are not just a person anymore. You are not just that person. You are not just this person. You are not just that girl. You are not just that guy. Come on, you call the city this morning. Everyone that is called the city, can you say amen this morning to the Word of God, to the Word of God. You are a city to God this morning. Hey, Oh, we have come to draw. Oh, we have come to draw from you again. Draw from you 
a city is a place where there is where there is producing. A city is not just a person. A city is not just a people. A city doesn't have one street. A city has multiple streets. A city, a, a city has water supply. A city has power supply. A city has but whatever it is, God says, I'm calling you a fortified city. Come to draw, 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 draw from you again. We can never be tired of drawing from you, Jesus. As we get full, you empty us and you fill us again and again and again and again. And that's why we love you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. church let's worship God this morning let me start this thing again I want to tell you I hear the Holy Spirit says to me the day when he asked Peter he asked the disciples who do you say that I am who do you say that I am some says you're Moses some says you're the prophet some says you're this some says as you're that he says who do you say that I am you are the one that makes a way. You're the one that opens doors. You're the one that makes, that heals a broken heart, that sets the captive free. Come on, what is your uh, who I am statement? What is your who I am statement to God this morning? I want to ask you a personal question. Jesus, when Jesus asked the disciples, He says, who do you say, city, I am? He says, who do you say? I want to ask you this morning because each and every one of us has experienced God in this time. Every one of us has experienced God in a way. Some of you have experienced him as a way maker. Some of you has, has experienced him as a healer. Some of you has experienced him as a doctor. Some of you has experienced him as a teacher. Some of you have experienced him as a deliverer. Come on, who is he to you this morning? Come on, you've got to say to you, to him, who he is to you. Come on, I call him way maker. Come on, come on church. Who do you say that I am? Who do you say? Because after that, something must happen. Who do you say that I am? There was 12 disciples standing before Jesus. Only one answered him. Come on. Can someone say who's Jesus this morning? To you, Heyama Sata. Come on, who do you say he is? Come on, you need to say him for yourself. You've got to answer that for yourself. Come on, you need to have an I am statement. Who do you say that I am? Here, Kaya Masata. 
Hura mama saya ndara bosika Hera mama saya Eka saya mama ndara bosika Hora mama sata Lord I shanta white see That you're the God of the new thing 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 Hera mama saya You're the God of the new season You're the God of the way making You're the God of Elohim You're the creator God You create the season So I can walk in Come on church Who do you say that God is? I say that he's a way maker I say that he's a God of the seasons. Come on, he's the God of the new thing. I want to ask you this morning, who is God to you? Because who he is to you? Well, tell me where you're going here, ya Messiah. Woo! Come on, come on, Namibia. Who do you say God is? Who do you say that God is? Who do you say that God is? Hey, ya Masata. Come on, come on, he's a bondage breaker. Come on, he's a generational curse breaker. Come on, he's a deliverer to my life. Hey, Yama Sata, he's the one that delivered me from demonic soul ties, demonic entities, demonic influences. Come on, he's a way maker. He's a bondage breaker. Hey, Yama Sata, come on, he's a God that answers by fire. I think you must understand me this morning. I don't want you to tell me what God is in the Bible because He's majestic. He's who we say that He is. He's Elohim. He's, he's, he's Genesis and His revelations. That's not my question. Jesus asked the disciples, who do you say I am? So I want to make this personal to you. Who is God to you this morning? And you shouldn't think about it. It should come naturally. Let's start this again. Who do you say that he is? Ladies and gentlemen, I know that God is the God of a new thing in my life. God is the God of the new season. He's the Isaiah chapter 60 God. He said to me, arise and shine for your daybreak came. That was two years ago. Come on, and I'm still experiencing the rising of the sun. Hey, Ramasiah. I'm still experiencing him in the river, in dimensions of the new thing. I'm experiencing God in the dimensions of Isaiah 54. That stretch out your ten pens. That shout for joy, you old parent one, you that couldn't bear. More are the children of you that's going to be than the children. More are your children than the children of the marriage. I'm experiencing a personal word of God stretching my womb, stretching my and enlarging my life, enlarging my gift, enlarging my calling, enlarging my voice, enlarging my footsteps. Come on, I want to ask you, who is God to you? Hey, I'm Asata. That's why Josie is an everlasting, my saviour. Come on, who is it to you? Come on, come on, who is it to you? You need to make it personal. Hey, Yamasata. You see, when Peter answered him, Peter answered him not just from what he saw. He answered him from what he had conviction of. You are the Christos. You are the son of the living God. Hey, Yamasaya, Rabasete. Woo! Because sometimes I'm saying that I'm answering based on someone else's testimony. No, no, no. Don't answer him on my testimony. When Peter answered Jesus, the 11 they never said anything. I don't hear yeah, Matthew said something. I didn't hear Judah said something. I didn't hear that John said something. But Peter, the rough one, here you are Messiah. He said, uh -uh, I've heard this thing in my spirit. I've seen this thing before me. The one thing that I know, that you are the self-existent God. Here you are, Messiah. Because while you answer him, will determine what happens next. Here, Messiah. 
because your answer is direct in alignment with your prophecy. Hey, Masata, Kaya Mamanda Rabosika, Reka Saya Manda Rabosika, Le Masata. Can I bring this down to you? When Jesus said to the disciples, when they called them from the water as fishermen, you know what he said to them? Come and follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. So when Jesus asked them the question, he needed to check where they are in alignment with the prophetic word. Hey, Yama Sata. Come on, he's the God of the new beginnings. Come on, he's the God that creates opportunities for me. Come on, he's the Elohim God. Come on, he's a way maker. He's, that is what he is to me. Come on, Peter says, you are the Christ. You are the Christos. You are the self-existent one. You are the one that creates. They are the one that, that rise. You will be the one that rise from the dead. Because when Christ, when he said, you are the Christos. He says, everything that is supernatural is who you are. It is who you are. It is who you are. It is who you are to me. It's what I've come to see. It's what I've come to understand. It's what I've come to hear. It's what I've come to notice. It's what my spirit man says. Where's Mahalia? Ladies and gentlemen, Mahalia, come on. You are here. In destiny, lift your hands. Hey, I worship you. Are here, touching every worship you. Yes, we do. God, come on. He said, You're the crystals. I've watched you. My spirit understands something. So die my kaarsus wat ek is. So die my kaarsus wat ek is, Petrus, het ek een ding kom sien. Hey, hier is God. Ek het een ding kom sien. Hier is die Christus wat ons gaan verwacht het. Hier is die Seen van God. Hier is die een. Hier is die een wat salvation bring. You are the one that brings salvation. Hey, ya ma sata. I see how you open eyes of the blind. I see how you raise the dead. I see how you multiply bread and fish out of the water. I see that you are the one that carries the light. And you are not the one carrying the light. I see that you are the light. Hey, ya Messiah. Woo. I see that you are who you say that you are. And you are the rewarder. Peter says you are the Christ. broken whose heart was ever broken on this line who whose heart was ever broken he says I'm a I heal broken hearts I build broken families I heal broken marriages I heal broken relationships my promises I will turn the hearts of the fathers back to the sons and I will turn the hearts of the sons back to the fathers come on church that is what God promised come on can you say that is what he done for me hey Yamasata Karamamasayarabasata You know what he's what you know what he said to Peter? What Peter said to him is, You are the Christ. He said, He Peter, Peter told him who he received, what he received, how he perceived him, because he was great in the presence of Peter. Peter never saw anything like Jesus. And he answered Peter. He says, Peter, you are a rock. You are a rock. 
and I'm going to build my church on the revelation that you just gave me. I'm going to build my church on you. I'm going to build my church on you, Peter. I'm going to build my church on you, Peter. I'm going to build what I just heard from you comes out of the presence of God. It comes out of the Trinity. You could never have answered me in the way you did if you don't have a relationship or you never had an encounter here, your Messiah. That is who you are, my God. That is who you are this morning. That is who you have been, my God. That is been. That is who you have been in my life. is based on the revelation that you gave me. Jesus is based on what you said to me, based on how you answered me. Based, there is an announcement, there is a sound that came out based on what you said I am. He says, Peter, I'm going to build my church on you. You see, the revelation that you give Christ is what will happen after that. <laughs> He never told Matthew, he never told John, he never told Luke, he never told anyone. He said, Peter, on you I'm going to build my church. Sing it all together one more. He says, I'm going to give you keys, authority of the kingdom. I'm going to give you keys to the kingdom. I'm going to give you keys to gain access from the, from the inside out. I'm going to give you keys to the kingdom of heaven. The Bible says, Jesus said to him, Peter, what you said to me now, move me inside. Because you just came to the understanding of who is in your presence. That's what I'm trying to get you to this morning. You need to understand in whose presence you are. Because if we understand in whose presence, you are that one can give you access he can give you power he can give you authority this morning come on I cannot say God is God because based on what I see someone else say or hear someone else say mm, I'm, ans I'm answering God based on what I've experienced in my life with him come on that's what I'm trying to get out of you this morning who do you say that he is hey thank you Jesus come on church come on church
You know why? This is why we can sometimes not worship God fully because I don't know who He is. I need to have an I am statement. I need to have revival in my soul. I need to have personal encounter with God so that when I look up, I say, hey, you are a way maker. Oh God, I've seen you provide for my church, for my family, for my nation, for my country. Come on church. We are in a place now where we don't, we cannot just thank God for what we have seen happening to me and oh, just to my family. No, no, no. This is a church thing. This is a national thing. This is a global thing. Hey, I'm Messiah. Come on, I want to give you keys. Come on, Micheline. Come on, Peter Johnson. Come on, Julie from Namibia. Come on, Romy from Namibia. Come on, I want to give you keys. Come on, I want to give you keys, Megan. I want to give you keys this morning, Chandra. I want to give you keys, Rodney. I want to give you keys. I want to give you keys. Hey, Yamasata. I want to give you keys. Hey, Rababasaya. Hey, Kataya Mama Sete. Come on, church. Come on, Rachel. I want to give you keys. Come on, Judita. I want to give you keys. On your revelation, I want to give you keys. Hey, I'm a Messiah. Based on your revelation, the revelation that you give to Christ is a key that will be released. I hope you hear the Holy Ghost right now. I hope you hear in the spirit. You shouldn't now hear with your natural ear. You should hear me in the spiritual realm. Hey, I'm a Messiah. Hi, 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 hi. Woo. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Father, I've seen you true to your word. I know that you keep your word. I know that you are a dependable God. I know when you say that you perform at Hey Yamasata, I know one thing that I know is that you are a mystery releaser in my life. You unlock mysteries for me, my God. Hey Ramasaya, Hey Kataya Mama Sata. I've seen you heal the brokenhearted. I've seen how you restore people. I've seen how you heal marriages. I see it before my very eyes. Hekaya masata, ura mama saya, hekataya mama sata. I see how you are the father to the fatherless. Hera mama saya, hekataya mama sata. I see how the word produces in my life. Woo! Hallelujah! Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. I see multiplication. I see how you answer prayer. I see that you are a promise keeper. I see how what is asked in the dark comes out in the light. I see how when we press, how you come through. I see you. I see how you reveal the kingdom. I see how you want us to come into a kingdom life. I see what salvation means. Hekaya Mama Sata. Oh, come on, I feel God in this place. Come on, I feel God in this place. I've seen, Lord, how I stand in one place and how you bring the world to me. Heya Masaya, Hekataya Mama Sete, Kura Mama Nalabosika. I see how you open gates. I see the plains land. Whoa! My God, Santa Masaya. Jesus, the Son of God.
I see how you pour new in us. I see how your presence is becoming real. I see how you visit us because you love us. I see your presence. I see the change. I see the transformation. I see how people are becoming more like you. I see the Holy Ghost. I see the presence of righteousness. I see the presence of holiness. I see the Word manifesting. I see promise being, promises of God being fulfilled in the lives of people. I see how the broken are healed. I see those, my God, who has been kept hostage and bond in bondage bondage. My God, I see how the Word is breaking them out. I see how the Word is a prison breaker. I see how chains, generational change, our chains are breaking. I see it, my God. I see that you are the Christ. I see that you are the Christos. I see that you are the one who raised yourself from the grave. I see it. I see that how you are the authority keeper of the entire universe. I see that how you are in charge. I see how how when you say it, no one can go against your word. Here you are, Masata. I see how the pharaohs of our time, how they're being defeated. I see how the pharaohs of our time, how you prove yourself as God over and over and over again. If you believe he is worthy in this place, come on and praise him. Praise Come and praise the Lord if you know He's God. If you know He is who He say that He is and that He's the rewarder. He's the rewarder. He's the reward of those that diligently seek Him. Come and worship the living God this morning with me. Here are Messiah. He says, I will give you keys. I will give you keys to the revelation that you gave me. Because you understood and understand who I am. Holy Spirit, I see how the Word is going to outlive me and my generation and the next generation and the next generation. I see your Word coming to pass. I see how the last chapter in the Bible is coming to pass in my life and in my time. I see how the bride is getting prepared. I see, God, how you are changing us. I see how you're changing us from a worldly perspective into a kingdom perspective. I see how your people, our hearts are changing. I see how the hearts our stones are being changed to the heart of flesh. I see how people are becoming kingdom-minded. I see how they're coming, becoming conscious of the presence of Holy Ghost. Hey, Yamasata. I can see the revival in the hearts of people. Come on, if there's someone on this line that say, I've got the revival. I've got personal revival of the Son of God. I need to call him back so that I can go home. Come on, who's here that says, I'm calling out to the bridegroom. Hey, Ramasaya. And he's not just the God that made the sun and the moon and the stars. Come on, he's bigger. 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 Hey, Yamasaya. Ure mamanda la bosica masi ande rebosat. Kama masete rima manka toya mamanda la bosita. Come 
Come on, he's the one who looks on the state of the lowly maid servants. Come on, he's the one that was on the, on the cross, busy dying. And he was the one that gave salvation in his time of death. Hey! Woo! Hallelujah! Magaboe means the sound of revival. It's revival. Hey, Ramasaya! I speak this morning, my God that I will not die before my time, but I will love to declare the glory of the Lord in the land of the living. Come on, church. What is your prophecy this morning? What is your prophecy this morning? That is who God is to you. What is your prophecy? Here, your Messiah. I'm going to say this again, the revelation of your, of your, the, what you got, who, when Christ asked them, who do you say that I am? You know what he wanted to do? He wanted to release power. He wanted to do, he wanted to do an impartation. He wanted to release prophecy because his time was coming closer to leave and he needs to release. He needs to release. God wants to give keys this morning, but it will be based on your revelation. Here you are, Messiah. Sometimes people go around and you want to find out what this preacher said and what that preacher said and what this prophet said and what this one said. My mens, my mens, we're made for more. Get on your knees. Get on your knees. Here ya mama Messiah. All the revelation you need is on your knees. <laughs> Everything you need. Peter didn't follow someone else. Peter followed Jesus. He followed only Jesus. Here you are, Messiah. And out of following Jesus, he understood who is in whose presence he was. <laughs> I want to tell you this morning, be present in the presence. Be present in the presence. Who Ramasaya, Ekataya Mamanda Ramosika, Le Masaya, Ekataya Mama Sete, Who Ramasaya, come present in the presence of Christ. Become present. Woo! I hear the Holy Ghost. Become present in His presence. again become present in the presence of Jesus the reason why he could answer Jesus he was present in the kingdom he was present in the holiness he was present in miracles he was present in the multiplication he understood what the presence was about hey ya messiah who ek word die heilige gees
Worship us when you sing, when you praise, when you worship. Be present in who He is. Hey, Amasaya. Intercessors, when we pray, let us be present of who He is. He's the only true, holy, worthy, greatest intercessor of all time. Of all time. So we draw from the King of intercession. Hey, Amasaya. For personal revival, personal revival, Maga Bongwe, personal revival, Hayamama Sata Kaya Bossi Ande, Urababa Sata Kaya Mama Saya. Come and draw from Jesus, draw from Jesus, draw from the presence of righteousness, draw from the presence of the kingdom. Woo! I'm sorry, I cannot be everywhere now. I need to be focused. Come on, you need to get focused. Stop listening to things around you. Stop hearing things that is disturbing your spirit. Last night we were reminded again in the prayer meeting. I don't know if you can remember last year how when I when I went on the radio on this this radio, how I greeted nations, how I how I greeted countries, nations around the world, how I greeted Ghana, how I greeted Canada, how I greeted Australia, how I greeted Namibia, how I greeted Man Numi Pleka. I greeted them. Do you know what they're coming to the house? I'm not going nowhere. They're coming. Hey, Amasata, Karamamasaya. Ooh, all I know is the Holy Ghost is a navigator. The Holy Ghost will call them in. The Holy Ghost is the answer. Who will, who will bring them in? The Holy Ghost. Hey, Amasata. There's, there's a reward in being consistent. There's a reward in being faithful. There's a reward and keep on keeping on. There's a reward worth walking with Jesus. There's a reward worth walking with Jesus. There's a reward worth walking with Jesus. There is a reward worth walking with Jesus. Let me tell you, when you're in the Spirit, you call those things which are not as though they are. 
faith is the substance of those things. Hey, Yamasata. Rema Masaya and Arabosi and Alabosi. When we called under the leading of the Holy Ghost, when I called the nations in, you know what happened? When we called them in, they heard in the realm of the Spirit. They heard in the realm of the Spirit because I provoked the earth. I provoked the earth through the power of prayer and intercession. Intercession through the Holy Spirit. Intercession through the one who groans with, with groanings that cannot be uttered. Here I am, a Messiah. No, no, no. I don't even know if you understand what I just said. When you call under the unction of the Holy Ghost, the earth will have to respond. It doesn't matter where that CV lies. It doesn't matter where your husband is. It doesn't matter where your child is. It will respond because it's calling. You're calling through the voice of God. Be calling because the earth will respond to the voice of His Maker. Here you are, Messiah. When Jesus was walking and the disciples couldn't catch a thing, they couldn't catch a thing, they couldn't catch a thing, the Bible says, Jesus said to them, throw your nets, same place, same boat, same people, same current, same water, throw it on the right side. Because the, the fish knew the voice of who made them. Because the fish was in the presence of the supernatural. Because the fish was in the presence of the Almighty. Because the fish was in the presence of the Creator, the Elohim. They ran, they rushed, they pushed each other away to get in the net. Hey, I'm a Messiah. Who do you say that I am? Woo! Rema Masata. Rema Masaya, Ikaya Mama Sada Rebo Sata. Whatever God made will respond to the Maker. Whatever God made, when we called Ghana, when we called these places last year, when we called them, Eya Mama Saya. Woo! When we call islands, when we call, we called India, we call these places. Guess what? They are coming to where they were called from. Because there is a prophecy over the city, over the nation. From the mother city, from the southern tip of Africa. Revival. Revival, revival, revival. Oh, I see God. I see God. I see God. Jesus, Jesus, who do you say I am? Who do you say I am? Who do you say I am? Here I am, Messiah. Who do you say that I am? It is the hand of God. It is the hand of God. It is the hand of God. Sata makaya bosia, le masiande kere bosita, la mama saya kara bosiande, ura mama sata, kaya mama sete riba basata. It is the hand of Jehovah. It is the hand of Jehovah. It is the hand of Jehovah. 
Samasianda Robosia. Faith will make you look ridiculous. Faith will make you look ridiculous. But faith, I hear the Lord says, is the substance. Here am Messiah. Faith is the substance. The substance. I know him as God who answers on the Kairos time. I know the God of the impossible. I know the God of the impossible. I know the God of the impossible. Can I tell you something? When I called the nations in, I didn't even know one person in certain countries. But guess what? The country respond because of the voice of God, because of the voice of Yeshua, because of Elohim. Here ya Messiah, Karabosika, Masiande Rabasata, Karama Messiah Rebosika. Hallelujah! 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 Here ya Messiah, you are the Christ. You are the Christ. You are the Christos. You are the one who was. You are the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob, the God of Joseph, the covenant God, the covenant making, and the covenant keeping. Hey, Amasata. I'm going to say this again. I'm going to walk the entire earth. I'm going to walk the entire world. I'm going to preach in all nations. Here ya mama sata. Kara mama saya rebosika. Makataya mama sata. They will invite us. Here ya mama sata. I release it. I release it. I release it this morning. Here ya mama saya. Come on church, it's revival. Behold, I'm doing a new thing. Can you not see it? Can you not perceive it? Can you not smell it? Can you not taste it? Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You are the one that answers. Mm. <laughs> oh, the world says seeing is believing. The word says believing is seeing.
One of the greatest, greatest gospel singers of the Caribbean is coming to this nation, is coming to all nations, House of Glory Ministries. Get ready, get ready, get ready. moves. Faith moves, God. Faith moves, God. What looks ridiculous to the world, foolishness, it will become foolishness. The Bible says, hey, he will make the, the simple, he will make them wise. Father, your name is exalted this morning. Your name is praised this morning. Let your name be glorified. Let your name be praised this morning in the name of Jesus. Father, I seal this moment of prophecy over us. You are the Word. <laughs> you are the Son of the living God, Jesus. Father, your name is exalted in our midst. I seal this Word in our spirit, man. Faith is stirred, hope is stirred, revival is stirred, mm -mm -mm. steadfastness in you is served this morning in your presence. You served us with your word, you served us with miracles, you served us with precious stones, you served us with a kingdom, you served us. Here you are, my Messiah. Man, church, the heavens and the earth are going to pass away, but not one word out of the word of God, not one word that God said to you, He's going to outlove you. Here, you are, Masata.
Father, this morning I seal this moment in your presence. Father, I seal this moment so that it manifests in the days, in the months, and in the years to come. Father, we honor you this morning. We are here this morning to test, to bear testimony of your goodness. I bear testimony that you are alive. And if you said it, ooh. If you said it, if you said it, it will come to pass. You have done it again. 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 If you said it, if it is you, God, it's only a matter of time. Lift your hands and bless you. Thank you, Jesus. God bless you. God bless you. same time next week we're gonna open the the conference soon I think in the next week or so you have to book because we are expecting a lot of people you have to book and say what days you are coming to the global prayer summit it is it is what it is people will share his home bless you this morning. God bless you. God bless you. Come on, church. May the God, good Lord, bless and keep you. May he keep you. May he make his face to shine on you. Be gracious unto you. Lift up his countenance over you. May you receive the peace of God. God bless you. Pray for me as I pray for you. I love you. God bless you. In a little while, we will see him coming. <laughs>